Hello, just wanted to go through a little walkthrough of my home theater. So starting out, I have a little TV here. I can put posters on there so I can show like a now playing or just pretty much any movie poster that I want to put on there. It's just a thumb drive on a LED or LCD TV and I just have a monitor stand holding it up in the back. So luckily I could get behind here, my furnace. Went with this little sign, saw this at Hobby Lobby and thought that was perfect. Uh, it'll do for now until I make my own, but I think I'm gonna need a CNC machine to make what I wanna make, Star Wars-esque with Greeblies and everything. Um, I went with the auto door door slider. So that's what's sliding open the pocket door. And this is what it looks like inside. So I'm gonna turn on the light a little so that you can see the panels. It's gonna wash out the screen. But basically I spent about two months in the summer creating all these panels, which as you can imagine is a lot of cutting. Uh, so a little bit every day after work, all day on the weekends. This picture, I, I'm not sure who put it together, but I saw it online and thought it was pretty cool. And I went to a place called uh, U-Design or U-Print rather and asked them to print it out in these dimensions and then just built this wood frame around it. Um, I mentioned earlier, there's an auto slide, auto door opener. I made this little cover just to kind of hide it. So there it is there, that's what, uh, what opens the door. And the door itself has some gears, like a, a little gear path on it. Also have this LED above the door. The symbol, this is the, U, the uh, Galactic Empire logo. Got this from Etsy, uh, cost me about $25. It too is MDF, uh, half inch. And speaking of the MDF, I just painted it with, um, what was it, satin color paint. So I didn't put any primer on any of the wood. I just pretty much just sprayed, sprayed it with a Wagner sprayer. So it didn't get fuzzy. It didn't get, uh, you know, I didn't do what you would expect MDF to do when a wet, you know, something wet is on it where it would bulge out or absorb all the paint. Although I would say if I had to do it again, I would use the primer because on the edges, that's where I kind of had to keep painting because, yeah, it would suck up all the paint. Um, so everything is identical, you know, on this side here and on the right side. So as you can imagine, a lot of repetition and cutting all the parts. Uh, except for one spot, and that's here. I wanted to make sure I still had an egress since we are in the basement. I think by law you have to have some way out in emergency. So that's there with some hinges there. Um, the screen, it's just some 2 by 4s put together, and the material is from Carl's Place. Um, that's the name of the company that makes the actual screen material. So I got that from Amazon. The entertainment center, I built that as well. That's just regular, you know, regular lumber. Um, I went with a Sony setup, so 7.2 uh, Atmos surround sound system. So Sony speakers in the front with the exception of the subwoofer. That's a clips, a used clips that I got. Uh, got what I get that. Uh, what else? Let's see. Up top, we have uh, clips speakers in the ceiling. I don't know if you can see that. And then Sony's in the back, also Atmos. So you actually... Uh, Get the sound that goes all around the room, depending on the movie and the scene. Um, also, a little thing that I wanted to do is I've got this little amplifier here, and there are speakers under the seats. So when you when there's an explosion or thunder or whatever, you will feel it. Let's see what else. Uh, oh, this bar here. This uh, this bar top. I think this was a countertop from IKEA. I got it in the as-is section for about $17. And then um, I'm going to turn up the light so you guys can see. So I built this base here, which is basically just a bar area, just so I can sit four more people. That way we could have like seven people in here at a time or more if they're standing, standing room only. Speaking of the seating arrangements and everything, these seats here I got on let go. Uh, there was a gentleman selling all three of them. Uh, combined for two $250, so I figured that was a pretty good deal. Um, manual, you know, kind of used, but hey, $250, you know. Uh, let's see. Carpet, those are uh, carpet tiles, should we have any unfortunate mistakes. 
Um, a buddy of mine at work gave these to me, so thank you. Appreciate that. Came in handy. Plus the gray, so it matches everything. The door, um, so the original door was just a regular swing out, you know, regular door, um, hollow core door. It was too thick to fit in the channel and have this the, the motor and everything working. And I don't know if you can see it, but I had to add a piece of wood behind the door just so that the gear for the auto, auto uh, opener would be able to open and not have to sit right here in this area because it would have to sit between the wall and the door and then I wouldn't have a stud here and that would, that may, you know, this wall would be pretty flimsy without that main stud. So that worked out well. Um, as far as the LEDs, turn the lights off here. Obviously I can change the color. So I really like when it's red. I also have some LEDs in the ceiling just above the, uh, the screen there. So it's pretty nice. It looks like it washes out the screen a little bit so I can tone down the brightness and then it's not so bad or just simply turn off. Turn it back on. Um, let's see. So there's a cord that goes across um, from the entertainment center and the LEDs. Let me turn this light back on. And basically that goes above in this channel that I created. That way those cords can go into the projector and the LED can come back to this thing I put up above the wall, which was like a last minute idea because I couldn't think of any way to hide the gears on the door. And I think that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Once again, my, my door, which I'm super happy with. And all those balloons and stuff, that's because it's my wife's birthday party today. So happy birthday, dear. And that's it. That's the man cave slash media room. All right, hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions of how I might have done something, uh, need any tips, if you're making your own, just leave a comment down below. Thanks, bye.